first of all, you have to do a lot of research still, right? Because there are so many new things out in the market. I believe that you should find something that you are passionate about because there are too many competitors around you. So if you're not passionate, it's very easy to just, oh, the rest are doing much better and you know, let's look for a new, other new market. So it's important to do a lot of groundwork. And I feel that because it's a new market, we're talking about emerging markets usually, right? It, it will take time to build up this market. Uh, you have to be prepared that you're going to do a lot of groundwork. You may be actually opening path for your future competitors too. <laughs> that is something that you have to be prepared. So I believe that there are a lot of new, um, in the same industry, right, a new market that you're looking at, there will be some similar or complementary products out there. And it's, it's important and good to just learn from them and see what are the mistakes that they have made, um, what are the good things that they have done uh, that have caught your eye, and then you can just take away the good one, throw away the bad one, and then you can formulate something that is suitable for your industry to reduce the amount of um, darkness, right? To make it brighter, right? One way is to talk to your audience, to your target audience, understand them, interact them, engage them and interact with them. The thing is, most of us who are already planning for a business, right? You're definitely not, for my case, I'm not in the age group of my audience. They're between 12 to 25 and I'm definitely more than that. So I don't understand them. Their lifestyle is totally different from mine. Um, that's why it's important for me to engage with them. We need to talk to them. We need to show them the products, um, ask them for their opinion, and they will shock me with, with a lot of facts. Um, these are things that, I mean, they are the ones who will ultimately use your product, so they have to like it. If one look at it, they don't like it, then, you know, most probably it wouldn't work anyway. So why waste the money? So what's important thing is just talk to them, engage with them all the time for every, I'll say every single process from the web de website development to the um, usability and things like that. Of course there are technology, because sometimes right, um, in a company for, in my case, we have technology people, we have business people and all of us have our own agendas. So the technology people will most probably want to make it superb in terms of technology, but is that what the market wants? Um, that is a question that we have to ask. And then, of course, on the second stage, um, after your product development, right, it's more on how do you reach this target audience? Um, in my market, to the good thing is a lot of things happens online nowadays. Most of my target audience are on broadband, internet, or mobile phone. So it's it's good to, I would say it is a, a blessing for us because what we do is that we are trying to create a community. Our business is in the form of um, Benefit Me World where um, it is a virtual community where we are trying to bring in all the comics lovers, comics creators, passionate fans who come to this portal and get their artwork published instantly onto the web and to the mobile phone. Um, all we do is to create the platform to get the people to talk about it. So we are going to add in forums, we're going to add in um, uh, blog sites for artists so they can blog about it. So that's how we um, understand our customer more. We have a platform that allows us to gather information about them all the time. And of course it's important for us to read, analyze and um, maximize I would say capitalize on the information that we have. All you must smile with confidence. <laughs> I think you need to have a very good chemistry with your investors. The first um, handshake is very important. The first look is very important. Whether do, they, do you give them the confidence that you can do the job, right? I think that's very, very important. And the next thing is after the opening, you know, you smile to each other. I think the next thing is to show them that you are very prepared to put in effort and time for this business and you strongly believe that you can make it right. Uh, generally, right, the good thing is VC knows that you have weaknesses for sure. Because if you are that good, if you are 100% perfect, then most probably you don't even need a VC. You could have just executed a plan and earned the money straight away. So it's important, or you, you would have attracted tons of VC to come to you and you're, you should be in a cho position to choose the VC that you want. Right. So I think it's important to be prepared with your information, um, be honest and tell them what uh, you will be doing, what have you done, 
uh, what are the resources that you have gathered and what are the resources that are going to gather in the future that will help to speed up the process of implementation. Um, don't lie and don't be afraid to show off your weaknesses because they are there to help you too. And of course, it's, I think it's good to, it's not necessary, but I think it's good to have a, a, a execute, um, executive plan um, to show that you have covered all the major areas like, for example, competition, cash flow, um, resources, the team that you're going to build, uh, market analysis and things like that. Don't over, try to over-impress.